Hello, friends of Coaching Actuaries. This is Dave, and today is March 26. It is good to be here with you. It's good to connect. And uh, even though uh, it seems a little odd connecting to you through a video, I do wish I could see your faces. I do appreciate the opportunity to connect with you. As you may have guessed, we get lots of emails here at Coaching Actuaries regarding the coronavirus. In fact, we're probably getting thousands of them, literally. And uh, I've had some conversations with our staff, and we've talked about some of the common themes that we've heard from you as customers. So I thought today maybe I would just share some things that I've heard and maybe be able to answer some of your questions. One of the things that I hear a lot about is what to do with some of this extra time. Things have been canceled, so you've got some extra time. I don't have any magic bullet for you, but I can share maybe a few things that uh, I've experienced. One is I've always had this feeling that life just moves too quick for me and I wish life would just slow down a little bit. Well, I'm getting that opportunity. Life is slowing down. So I'm kind of getting what I asked for and uh, trying to take advantage of that. I know for many of you, you're uh, studying for exams. And of course, uh, that does mean you have more opportunity to study. And you probably don't need me to tell you that, but I do think that uh, now is a good time to take advantage of that. Uh, one of the things that I've learned as I've read history books is uh, calculus was actually invented slash discovered during a plague by Isaac Newton. He was actually out of college for a year for the plague. So he went home, stayed inside and discovered calculus. You and I probably won't do anything that exciting, but it is an opportunity to do something special. And so, you know, take a look at see what that might mean for you. Obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty going around. Uh, in a perfect actuarial world, we would take that uncertainty and we would create a distribution and we would model it and we could calculate all kinds of cool things. Uh, we obviously don't have a cool distribution here, but there is a lot of math obviously involved that we study. And it does highlight to me the value of an actuary. We, we look at this uncertainty, we look at this risk, and we try to provide solutions that are real to other people that can help them through these difficult times. So we're in a good profession, a uh, noble profession, one that does help others. Uh, obviously, during this time of transition and slowdown, a lot of our daily routine has been changed. Uh, some of our habits we have uh, are no longer something we can do. And instead of resisting all that, sometimes I find it's easier to uh, go with the flow, so to speak, and not resist that change. Uh, sometimes I find that uh, during this time, a lot of things that are simple are my only options and often simple is a, a good option. And it allows me to kind of filter out some of that complexity in my life that I don't need and allows me to maybe focus on some things that are more important, the simple things of life. So anyway, if that means anything to you, I know I've experienced that with myself. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are concerned about the economy, what's going to happen and None of us know, none of us have a crystal ball, but I do know that there's a lot of resilience in our economy. As you know, there's a lot of insurance. That's why we have insurance. That's why we're studying all this insurance. It's times like this where insurance kicks in and insurance on insurance kicks in. So there's a lot of that built in there that's going to provide safety nets for us. We don't know how it's all going to play out, uh, but uh, we, we are in a good position from an economic foundation perspective. There's there's definitely challenges and uncertainties, but uh, we do have a good economy. You may ask, what what should you be doing during this time? I you know obviously can't answer that. I can share a few things about what I'm doing. Uh, uh, you know we all experience more stress. Uh, I really enjoy moving, and so whether that be running or or just uh, uh, doing calisthenics down in my basement. You know, now is a good opportunity to do that. Can't go to the gym anymore, but uh, I can go to my basement. I can get outside. It's neat to see so many people outside walking in the in the streets and uh, getting fresh air. So that's been really helpful for me. I personally enjoy to read and to write. So it gives me a lot of opportunity to do that. I've caught up on my sleep, uh, which is always a good thing. Uh, I've tried to keep my daily habits of eating well and definitely drinking lots of water just to keep the body hydrated and healthy. And it's also allowed me to have special family time. You know, we're connecting to family more often and, and in different ways. And so personally, I've had some opportunity to uh, be blessed by that. 
But with all that said, I realized that there is some real suffering going on out there, even amongst the people as our customers. And I don't want to minimize that at all. Uh, we're with you. We, sh we uh, feel for you. Uh, we're doing everything we can to get through this. One of the things I feel like I've learned from this is kind of this idea of a shared humanity where we can all realize that, you know what, we are a lot more alike than we are different. And there's something special about that to me to be able to experience that. As you walk down the street, you kind of look at people and you feel a little bit more connected than you may have otherwise knowing we're all in this together. And so uh, that's something that I've appreciated about these difficult times that we have. And so uh, let's stay on course, stay connected. We will get through this. Um, I know it's difficult, but the bottom line message is that uh, let's remain confident that we can get through this together.